Hello and welcome to Megawatt News, where today we're coming live from the Mobile World Congress 2008 in Barcelona, Spain, hence the uh, live webcam chat. Lots been happening in the show already this morning, including new announcements from Nokia, Samsung, Google, uh, Sony Ericsson, LG, Motorola, basically anybody you can think of that's launching a phone has done so today. The highlights of the show so far and ones to look out for are a new N96, that's a 16 gig update to its N95 model. It comes with a number of features including uh, assisted GPS, uh, there's an SD card reader and uh, lots of movie functions etc. Basically it's an N95 but on uh, speed, it's sort of super sized uh, but in a small package. Then you have the Samsung F40 which is probably the nearest thing we've seen so far to an iPhone update, uh, an iPhone challenger, should I say, and that comes with a touchscreen, HSDPA, 5 megapixel camera, and the cross uh, crux, I think they call it, uh, menu interface, which can be found on the F700 model from the same company. We also managed to get a sneak peek of a very early prototype of Google Android. Now, this is the operating system that's going to be coming out later in the year from Google. Uh, it was shown to us uh, on the ARM stand. Now, ARM are a company that make a lot of uh, chipsets for, for everybody, from Nokia to Apple's iPhone. And basically, it looks really impressive. Very simple, very graphically exciting and user interface with lots of shimmering fades and moving images and stuff like that. And we saw it on a prototype which actually is on a second well, generation chip that's two generations old. So it should be really fast when it actually comes out with new technology that's available today. Finally, last night, Sony Ericsson launched a number of handsets including a completely new PDA device which was run on uh, Windows Mobile, very highly customized, but also a new Walkman phone called the W980. Now this phone um, comes with a number of features, it's got a touch screen, it's got haptics which is basically where you buzz, uh, the screen buzzes for you, but also a really good stereo, uh, built in stereo speakers and the ability to stream wirelessly via Bluetooth uh, to some headset, to a headset as well. So overall, lots of phones to announce, there's lots more to come, it's just the, just the surface so far and that's it for, this, for today's news, hope you've enjoyed it, catch you again tomorrow, goodbye.